everyone, this is Summer Erin and today I'm introducing you to a really exciting new life simulation game coming out within the next year or two, People of the Newberry. And this might very much interest you if you are a Sims 4 fan or potentially if you're a Paralyzed fan. Before we go ahead and get started, my name is Summer Erin. I do Sims 4 news, speculation info videos, as well as Paralyzed news, speculation info videos, and apparently other life simulation games. So definitely check those out. Also, if you're new here, drop a comment, say hi, or just introduce yourself. I love to meet you and respond to comments as much as possible. I admit, lately it's been getting harder and harder, so if I does get to the point where I can't respond to every comment, I hope you guys understand and know I love and appreciate all of you. So, People of the Newberry, you probably have never heard of it. I hadn't heard of it either. I actually checked my Instagram for the first time in a very long time, and a subscriber or maybe just someone who watches my videos actually sent me a DM and said, hey, have you heard of this game? Would you consider covering? And I was like, I've never heard of it. So I'm going to leave their name either up here or in the comments below because honestly, I'm afraid I'm going to mispronounce it. But in any case, a people of the Newberry, we're going to go ahead. You're going to see lots of footage. We're going to get into what this game is and why you could potentially be excited for it. I do want a disclaimer. I don't know quite enough information yet to fully endorse it. I know even less than I do about Paralyzed. I just learned about it. So if there's any like scandals or anything else like related to that that I missed, I do apologize. I try to do my best in research. So moving on, let's talk a little bit about what this game is and if you'd be actually interested in it. So right off the bat, I was really drawn from the teaser trailer, but I do know that there's going to be some disagreement about graphics. So some people are going to really like it. Some people aren't. It is definitely a more realistic style than what we've been covering. But I don't want to talk too much about graphics because there's a lot of really interesting features I do want to talk about. So here is the description for the game. Do you find being able to control digital people, making them cook, clean, exercise, watch TV, find a job, pay bills, form a family, and have social interactions incredibly addicting? Congratulations, you may just be a mega fan of this life simulator. People of the Newberry is an upcoming life simulation indie game. You can build the perfect person in the perfect home, create a cute puppy to your exact specifications, open your own business, clothing store, or small coffee shop. You can play alone or you can play with your friends in online mode for five people. So clearly this is definitely, and they even said they were inspired by The Sims, so there's a lot of things you could do in, of course, a base game. I really love the idea of being able to own a coffee shop and a clothing store right in the base game. Already we know we're going to be able to have pets, and I just really like how this is sounding, at least in theory. So let's go into some more details about the game. So in the game, you actually will be able to see over a hundred different animals. I'm having trouble believing this, but apparently a hundred different animals. They will be both pets and wild animals, which we'll see in a little bit, or maybe I'm showing you right now, that you can see in the forest or a zoo. A zoo? Yes, really. So the game was originally created, they thought they were going to do all online mode, but they decided to also offer a mode that you can play without internet connection, which I'm very glad about. Now, there are a few negative things. We're going to get into that right now. So the good thing is it can run on low NPCs. It was specifically meant to run on low NPCs. They actually even have the core requirements, which I can leave in the description. But it is going to be launched for PC alone initially. I didn't see anything about Mac, so I'd like to reach out. I'm planning on reaching out anyway for an interview, so that would be one question I would ask. But they will also be launching for console after the game comes out. So yes, it is going to be for console. So console players, listen up. For languages, it's going to be available in English, French, German, Polish, Russian, and Chinese as of right now. Now this might be a big bummer for some of you. It will not have mod capability. So this is very different from Paralyzed and The Sims, at least as of right now. However, there will be free updates every two to three months. There will be free updates. So that's really good news. And there'll be free updates in terms of build, buy, other gameplay, etc. I do not know anything about DLC yet. Again, you can leave your comments below if you have questions, if I do get a chance to interview them. They will have traits. Now, something I noticed about the traits, we don't know a lot yet, but it looks like so far there's only going to be free traits. I really hope that's expanded. Really feels very much like Sims 4. In fact, some of the traits I noticed were pretty similar or exact same as Sims 4, so I'd like to see that changed. I do know that there's going to be a young adult stage, so I do assume there's going to be 
multiple life stages, so that is really good news as well. So moving on, if you do want to check out these clips yourself, there are all these links to their social media. Let me know if I did leave them. There's a Patreon page. There's also a Facebook page, an Instagram page, Twitter, and you can even go on Discord. You can even drop ideas in Discord. However, I will warn you, it's not really lively because not very many people know about this. So if you're excited about this, please spread the word because they could really use it. Now, let's actually go on into the clip. So I want to go back to the teaser trailer because I really loved the hanging plants. I know a lot of builders will really love that. I also love the lighting, the details, the southern kind of aesthetic was kind of interesting. At least that's how I saw it. I'm not southern. And I really loved the music. And I just, I don't know. It really put me at peace. I will also try to insert, they had some other images of a farmhouse, which I have to admit, I'm a little bit biased. Farmhouses are just up my wheelhouse. I love the aesthetic. Again, I understand that's a little bit what we would call alpha in The Sims. So some people aren't going to like it. I personally love it. I think it's gorgeous and I'm really excited about what I'm seeing there. But unfortunately, I couldn't get much information about build mode itself. So unlike Paralyze that really emphasized the customization and the build features and things like this, they're kind of talking a little bit more about gameplay first. So I find that kind of interesting, but we still don't have tons of details either here. So anyway, nothing to complain about there. So there's also the ability to create and edit nature. You can drag and drop using a simplified system. Kind of reminds me of Sims 2 almost when you're editing the world. I do not know how much you're going to be out of things. I do know that they said that there were going to be multiple worlds, but I don't have any details about that yet. It does look like there is some sort of grid system. So no, it is not a gridless building. So it's not super innovative, but I think it really does get the job done. I really like that you're able to resize things. It looks really easy to use. It looks fun, looks really enjoyable. Now, as far as the animals, we said over a hundred different types of animals, which I was like, really, seriously? But anyway, in this case, in this one, you get to see a wild deer, you get to see some squirrels. There's just this really wild wilderness aesthetic, which I feel like is kind of missing from some of the simulation games I've seen. So I really like that. I wonder if you can really venture far into that because I feel like I kind of miss that. I would love to see more of that. The next thing I'm not... I, I think this is kind of funny. So they had a Northern Lights clip, and I feel like this is kind of what everybody's doing right now. So with Sims 4, they had Eco Lifestyle, where they showed the Northern Lights, of course. And then in Paralyzed, shortly after, we saw the day and dawn and the sunset. And it is really great to see how the days progress. I do think this is really beautiful. I think there's a lot of great details here. I also noticed the building. Again, it really gives me off the grid vibe. So I'd be really interested if that's going to be part of the gameplay. And I feel like there's some kind of like stilt foundation going on. I say I feel like it because I'm not a builder. So I apologize if I'm saying something wrong. And again, just that really wild aesthetic. If you caught it, there was a horse in the background. Do not know for sure what the interaction will be like between the animals. But we do know supposedly you're gonna be able to see them in the forest and you're gonna be able to see them in zoos. Again, this just seems like wildly ambitious. I do not know if he's working alone. I don't know what his team is like, so I definitely want to know more about that. Now, into character creation, they did show an example of an adult male and adult female. Maybe it's young adult. I'm not really sure. You probably are going to have a lot of comments about the graphics. So again, I don't want to get into the debate too much, at least me personally, about really cartoony like we see in Paralives to here. There's a big spectrum. I'm personally fine with pretty much whatever, so, well, that's not really true, but I'm okay with this. But in any case, they use a slider system with presets and advanced details. Kind of gives me some Sims Free vibes. For the eyes, there are presets, and it seems like there's presets for everything, but you can adjust the inner and outer color in the eye. So I think that's really cool, and I would love to see more of that as well. And there are some skin details, so it does come with tattoos, scars, and multiple piercings. Really excited for that. Really great. And then let's talk about the skin tones because we've been talking about skin tones quite a bit. So the skin tones do range on a slider system from light to darker shades, but there's a little bit more nuance. It's not just a slider system. You can actually add gloss 
powder and contrast. Again, gloss, powder, and contrast. So I'm really excited to see how they could potentially make the skin tones more representative. I really hope they are. Again, we're not really seeing much in these clips. I don't know how good they're going to be, but you can let me know what you think about that. And then as far as proportions, you are able to adjust the thighs, the chest, the arm, the hips, the feet, and lots of other things that I didn't even mention. There is also going to be body hair. Imagine that. So as far as animation, I don't really have a lot of opinions about this, but I do know that I feel like it's decent, but it probably could use a little bit smoothing over. You guys can let me know what you think. This is one of the people running in the field, and they also had a little caption with this, and they said, sport is an important part of their life. Newberry residents also need to keep fit. Running in the morning is a great solution. So there is going to be some kind of fitness system and there is going to be some kind of sports. Maybe it's just running. We don't know yet. So wrapping up this video, I know I rapid fired, gave you tons of information about this game. Again, not very many people know about it. Thank you so much for the person who pointed this out. I never would have known. Apparently they follow me on Twitter and I didn't know that either. I really hope to give more exposure to this game. I don't want to give a full endorsement because you guys know I don't bullshit. I like to be fair and I like to be honest. And my honest opinion is I think this could have lots of potential, but what you know what what is making it unique i would already say the zoos and the wildlife but is it really going to come out in 2021 i'm just i'm not sure yet i really would like to tell you guys more details i would love to do a follow-up interview like i said i did reach out to them on twitter let me know if you want that because i think they deserve more exposure at least a chance right because hardly anyone knows about this and so to that end please share this video but also more importantly than this video Go ahead and share the clips from their channel so they get direct exposure rather than me. It's not about me. It's about them. And I just welcome more games in the life simulation area because it's sorely lacking. We can use all we can get. So I am really excited about a couple things. The things that would excite me is, number one, I guess the aesthetic just appeals to me, and that's really personal opinion. I really like the more rustic and farmhouse looks. Something I've noticed that that is pretty different from Paralyzed has been focusing more on modern appeal. I do think there's going to be a wide variety of styles, but I'm just trying to compare and contrast. I could even do a compare and contrast, but I need more information about this game before I say, this is going to be a great game, or it's not real, or it's trash, or whatever. I just don't. I just don't do that. I don't jump into those conclusions. However, I do love the idea about being able to run your own business. I, of course, I always welcome pets. I like that there's an offline mode. I don't really care about the online mode, but some people might. I'm really excited that this is something console players could actually play in the future because goodness knows console players get shafted all the time. So let me know what you guys think. You can also leave some questions if you want to for the interview if there's anything you're wondering because there's a lot of things i'm wondering again i know some people are going to say this is trash some people are going to say this is exciting there's going to be in between just be respectful to each other because i know we can all get a little contentious in this time especially during the pandemic and by the way guys if any of you are struggling right now with mental health i've been struggling with mental health just know that i'm here for you just know that you're never alone and just know that there's always people that love and care about you and you are important. Sorry, I just felt the need to add that. Anyway, on that note, I'll let you go and I'll see you in the next one. Please share this. Bye, guys.